In its relatively short life, the Mazda CX-5 compact crossover has already experienced a generational change in restyling. It is not clear when he managed to do this, given that he was first shown only in 2011 at the Frankfurt Motor Show. It almost immediately began to be sold in Russia, and the buyer accepted the novelty unexpectedly favorably. Unexpectedly, because the main innovation of the car was the engine with Skyactiv technology, or, as they said then, gasoline engine with diesel characteristics. Usually such serious innovations scare off our conservative consumers, but the times were relatively prosperous, and Mazda already had a reputation as a manufacturer of very reliable cars. In general, the well-equipped and attractive outwardly CX-5 began to be sold successfully. A short list of childhood illnesses was quickly corrected in 2013 during a purely technical modernization and, starting from restyling in 2015 until 2017, the crossover was not subjected to serious renovations. We will not talk about the model of last year, but to a greater extent we will touch on pre-styling cars, which today can be found for 750,000 rubles and tomorrow you will not regret it. The CX-5 received the highest rating from buyers not so much for the excellent passage of European and North American passive safety tests, but for equipment and comfort. Mazda's option list is traditionally divided into packages, and already from the second, so to speak, level in the car you can find a solid list of pleasant little things, including an engine start button and automatic high beam headlights. And this, let me remind you, was 2012, and such options belonged to the business segment and not to trivial compact crossovers of the middle price category. Behind the contours of a generally pretty body was a rather comfortable interior. However, the second row of seats turned out to be somewhat cramped and more suitable for children. But the front row and trunk were quite spacious. It is important to note that all the external and internal magnificence of the CX-5 is preserved even after the end of the warranty period. The lacquer coating does not fade and does not become covered with red pimples. The leather of the seats does not crack or wrinkle, except that the driver's seat begins to play over time, and the steering wheel becomes greasy. There are failures of the mirror folding drive, which can be repaired for a couple of thousand rubles by replacing the plastic gear, or completely changed for 10. Worse, if a stone hits a heated windshield, you will have to pay almost $300 for the original one. By the way, many owners are unhappy with this option, because at night the heating wire glares, the brushes do not warm up and the glass itself is very expensive. On the 2017 model, it was abandoned, leaving the heating of the wiper zone, and the windshield and the stove are heated well. Skyactiv technology, which Mazda Menders used in the CX-5 model, in theory, should make it possible to bring the economic performance of a gasoline engine closer to diesel ones and, in general, to switch to a multi-fuel engine in the future. The essence of the technology is that the compression ratio is increased to 15 ATM against 10 to 11 in a conventional gasoline ICE. From the start of production, the CX-5 was equipped with a 2.0-liter Skyactiv with a capacity of 150 horsepower, a 2.2-liter turbo diesel, 175 horsepower, and a year later a 2.5-liter 192 horsepower gasoline engine. In general, gasoline engines are very reliable and if they fail, it is mainly due to the lack of timely maintenance or when using low-quality fuel, the 2.0-liter engine is especially sensitive to gasoline. The diesel unit was less fortunate. In addition to a two-stage turbine with a short resource, he was remembered for the sudden wear of the exhaust camshaft. A chain is used to drive all motors, but it was not the culprit for wear. Among the most likely reasons are a technological error in the production of shafts or the use of low-quality metal. The defect was not diagnosed in any way until the car stalled on the go, and this could happen even at 50,000 kilometers. The shaft itself costs about 20,000 rubles, and its replacement is almost the same. Fortunately, most of the cases were recognized as warranty and did not happen again. However, there are few diesel engines in the secondary market, but gasoline engines divide the segment approximately in half. When diagnosing a UCX-5 with a 2.0 engine, you should look for oil leaks from under the timing cover gaskets and the pressure sensor in it. In general, the amount of oil is the first thing that both the buyer and the owner need to pay attention to. Oil starvation is fatal for these motors, since the loads are very high. The inability to start the engine on a damp morning is most likely a breakdown in the ignition coil. This part will cost 5,000 rubles, and you can change it right on the spot at the parts store. Occasionally, the vacuum brake booster is etched, 
more often for some reason on diesel engines. It costs almost 40,000 in the collection. Great luck if this malfunction is fixed under warranty. A six-speed manual gearbox in Russia was installed only with the 2.0-liter gasoline engine and only on front-wheel drive versions. All engines were equipped with an automatic, also six-speed. There are so few cars with a manual gearbox that there is really nothing to tell about them. They work and work. Very rarely there is increased wear on the synchronizer clutch, especially if drivers practice an overly aggressive driving style. Eisen brand automatic box. In principle, nothing more can be said about her. An example of reliability and endurance, compactness, and manufacturability. By 100,000 kilometers, an unpleasant buzz may appear, similar to a worn wheel bearing. If the chassis diagnostics did not show anything, you should pay attention to the bearing of the main shaft. It is tightly pressed into the transmission unit and officially changes only with the body. I hope some craftsmen have found a way to repress it, because otherwise you will have to pay about 70000 for repairs with spare parts. The box selector does not give cause for concern, the same 100,000 kilometers of run. After that, it may require replacement of the switching mechanism block which costs about $100, non-original. All-wheel drive CX-5 is solved according to the usual scheme for a crossover, connecting the rear axle with an electronically controlled multi-plate clutch. The clutch is disconnected when, in its opinion, slippage is excessive, which provides itself with a fairly large resource. This, of course, does not add patency. However, large overhangs with low ground clearance also do not contribute to the conquest of the Rubicon trails. The traditional Mazda suspension scheme with McPherson struts at the front and a multi-link at the rear is also used on the CX-5 crossover. The design turned out to be moderately rigid and quite energy intensive, and the rear multi-link system is able to tuck the wheels during rolls and corners, significantly improving handling. This, by the way, provokes aggressive driving, which is not the best way for the health of the suspension. The rear shock absorber struts and the front strut support bearings are the first to be surrendered. After restyling, they were replaced with more durable ones, and the problem disappeared. By 50,000 kilometers, the front silent blocks of the rear trailing arms may require replacement. It is better to change them as an assembly for 10,000 rubles, rather than repressing them separately, although this is cheaper, because this way the unit keeps working twice as long. Wheel bearings are quite tenacious, 100,000 kilometers will last front and 150,000 rear. Replacement is inexpensive and available at any workshop. The most unpleasant thing in the chassis is damage to the silent block of the rear gearbox subframe. On official services, it changes entirely with the stretcher and costs like a ticket to Sochi. Craftsmen learn how to press it out and install a new one for only a dozen, but you still have to disassemble half a car. About the main question that arises for our person who paid attention to the Mazda CX-5 in the process of searching for a crossover. Is it a male car or a female one? It's hard to say, although what difference does it make if it's sleek like a Jaguar, neat like an Audi, rides zoom zoom style and barely brakes. In addition, the generation has changed, and the first version in the secondary market has fallen sharply in price. Run, take it and you won't go wrong.